So my husband, he's a fanatic of sports and we're gonna make chicken wings. Father's Day is coming up. And I got a lot of things to do with, um, you know, my children, my, um, my dad and you know because i have an awesome father i have a wonderful amazing child's father and i have none but the best brothers that are amazing dads and let me tell you when you have an awesome father i mean my dad's pretty much a dad to like everybody you know and you know he deserves to be praised for that so does my husband so and my brothers so on that note guys see you later guys it's boring no really it's boring and okay, exit. All right. So, um, I'm actually my meat market that I usually go to moved towards where my car dealership is. I say like it's my agri dealership. No, ma'am. Excuse me, truck. Who else gets anxiety when they have like a big truck next to them? I don't know why I go like this. It's gonna hit me. But I always do that. Oh, come on, Infinity. Bye. We got 11 miles to go. All right, y'all, so, so, we're gonna make chicken wings, hamburgers, french fries, and, cause my nieces and nephew are sleeping over, and then do a little Father's Day thing, and then what else? Yeah, I mean, if you got an awesome father in your life, excuse me, let's talk about my daddy real quick. My father always been awesome. It was my, you know, my first love, of course. But, um, yeah, my dad's just like the bomb. I mean, I, I think that, you know, I want to give them the world. And it's like, there's not enough of the world to get. If that makes sense, you know, where he deserves more than the world. So does Raul. Like, they're awesome, awesome dads. And it's like, you know, my dad instills so much in me. Remember, guys, I'm a tomboy. You know, I grew up with all brothers, so it's just like, you know, my dad had me in sports, um, he had me doing, he was always having me active, and that's what I do appreciate with him, is how much he had me active, because I reciprocate that with my children. You know, like if I stay still for long, I just can't, because it's like, I need, I'm so used to being on the go with them, with my parents, and my dad had us involved in so many things that I, I just want to do with my own kids. So if you have a good daddy, you know, not saying every relationship is perfect because, you know, you are going to disagree with your parents. Your parents are going to disagree with you. But, you know, we always got to look at it as that we are now parents or soon to be parents. That you're going to learn that, you know, sometimes we just got to just let our children, even though no matter what we say, they're going to learn the hard way even though we don't want them to learn the hard way in some cases that was my case and you know i just always thank god for having a, a dad that by my side um even when i got pregnant early i was pregnant early with my son i thought guys i was gonna <laughs> be i mean I, of course you know i don't think i a disappointment meaning where he probably wanted me to wait you know obviously i wish i did for a better circumstance you know but we're not going to give the devil the devil no energy but it's just i i rather have waited and for a better you know father for my shop my son but then god god brought me raul you know and you know my dad you know he uh, he always been there always you know no matter how hard he's been on me meaning where he's gonna want the best you know us parents you know that now that i'm older i see why because i do the same thing with my kids you know, I'm like, oh shoot, I do the same thing, you know? And I just wanna thank him for everything he has done for me and everything that he's continuing to do for me. You know, our family, what I love about my dad is that he always is telling us, you know, we're a village, you know? And that no matter what, we stick together. We never fight against each other. We always sit there, even if we disagree, even if we felt, you know, we've offended one another, we talk about it. We don't just sit there and down each other about it. And I respect my dad for that. And I respect his work ethics. You know, I respect everything about him. He's a dad to everybody, you know? And I love that. My dad's very warm and funny. I mean, he's amazing. He came from a long way. And I'm proud of my dad, you know? I call him Papi. You know, but, you know, he deserved that and much more, to be honest. 
you know, and I, I, I'm very offended when it comes to my parents, you know, like, I'm really quick to jump on people if you try to even come at my parents, so it is what it is, I mean, I think most children are anyways, um, but he's awesome, guys, like, he deserves everything that comes his way, like, my dad deserves it all, you know, you know, like any other parent, yeah, they get on your nerves, yeah, they, you know, like, okay, dad, I heard it already, yes, I get it, but it's, the betterment for us. Our parents just want to see us do better than them. Same thing. It's a cycle. I don't want my kids to do better than me. And when they have their family, they're going to want their kids to do better than them. So that's all it is. Is our parents want us to do better than them. So now I get it. But I respect it. It is what it is. So, um, alright guys. So we're going to, we're almost at the meat market. I got 4.2 miles to go. Let's go. Just made it into the area. Let me see where's gonna tell me to go. Let me turn my music off real quick. I'm in North Haven, guys. What? What'd you say? Turn left. Um. Okay, I see. Best Buy Tar J. At the light, turn left. Oh, this is where the Jeep dealership was. Jeep life. I'm gonna get a Jeep when my kids are older. So, I might hear my natural color, dirty blonde, and just be a blonde in a Jeep. I want me a blonde in a Jeep. Longhorn Steakhouse is, oh, Red Lobster, but I, I never been there because what am I gonna eat there? I'm allergic to seafood. Come on, people. Let me go. Oh wait, a parking lot. Okay, Sharice, figure it out. Go straight, straight. All right, go straight down. If you have a big family like turn left into the parking lot. Okay, if you have a big family like me, you know where our children like I love, you know, having a big family. So it's just like parking lot. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. And where is that? Ah! It's easy. I didn't know I was. Oh, and Mad Rag is here. Oh, Arrived. Thank you. Okay, the meat market. It looks so pretty, guys. I gotta show you guys. If I could just find parking, it would be great. I don't like to park near other vehicles because people don't have respect for your truck. You know, like I hate when I respect people's stuff. Why do you feel like you need to Hartford Healthcare? Wow. You're not even supposed to enter here, ma'am. Mm-hmm. See, this is what I mean. I'm nice. <sighs> you know what? Oh, I got a I should get my nails done. I really should. I got my nails done and I was so oh, parking close up to oh wait a minute. I just said I wasn't gonna park near people, right? And I'm not. But I feel like I need to in a way. Oh my god, I'm not gonna park there. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Oh, I could park up here. Kind of next to the Jeep, guys. Like I just said, next to the Jeep. And we have arrived to Ferraro's, my favorite meat market. I'll show you guys. Let me see if I can switch you guys around. Oops, sorry guys, sorry. That's my meat market. I got mad rags over here. Girl. And you can get your nails done. Let me call my man, let him know I'm here. Lawson, man, I got so. Oh, it's just Raul's. Well, oh my god, it's so nice. It's next to Target, it's next to Mad Bags. Like a blouse, like yeah. Oh, that's true. So, true. I'm gonna put my mask on, and um, the nail salon is over there. The T Mobile, okay. All right, let me um, I'm gonna go inside now. So, I'm gonna call you. 
chuletas, chicken. Uh, you want chicken wings? What do you guys? Want? I used to eat the chicken. They used to eat the um. The chicken nuggets. Yeah, the chicken nuggets. Um. One more face on me. All right. All right. Huh? All right. I want to make sure to uh, I'll throw that in there. All right. All right. All right, guys. So, my hubby loves grocery shopping too. All right, guys. So we're gonna go inside the store, and I'm gonna show you around the new Ferraro meat market. I love it. When you have a very, a very big family like such myself, I learned this from my parents. They always did a big compra, which is a big grocery, as I we say in Spanish, compra. The reason why it's better off for me is the amount of meat. I have a son who's 17 who eats like his dad. Raul and he's a big boy and then I have another young son who's eight who swear he's 18 he eats just great look at this car no respect for the woman huh they're crazy here so that's mad rag over there boom this is what I tell you about about the carts and then that's Ferraro's meat market all right guys let's go Try to get some money for some stuff that I need Swear the ATM machine was laughing at me Your girl Been running on empty But I don't let it affect me There are days that I consider moving back home But every day I do my God keeps telling me no Your girl Been running on daydreams But that's just how my brain be I don't need your doubt Nope, I don't need your doubt Hey, just chill, I got all the time to kill Yeah, I got good vibes, good vibes I'm too blessed to give in to any stress It's only good vibes, good vibes So when I can't pay the rent I got nothing in my fridge Got no doubt, yeah, things always turn around Love these Stole it from me From the selfish fat I think I come from the streets Yo girl Staying pretty busy Learning how to sit Life is way too short to get caught up in that mess All I wanna do is get drunk on happiness Yo girl Love's a silver lining Don't at me cause I'm smiling I don't need your doubt Nope, I don't need your doubt Hey, just chill, I got all the time to kill Yeah, I got good vibes, good vibes I'm too blessed to give in to any stress Vibes, good vibes So when I can't pay the rent I got nothing in my fridge Got no doubt, yeah, things always turn around Yeah, I got good vibes, good vibes Sing it Yeah, you know you look good and I bet You just came out here to dance 
let me oblige you Boys don't know nothing about this We were made with this way in our hips You and me, we can make them all wish They had the courage to ask you I know that it's not just me Come on, go what you think No, mami, mano, vamos a bailar Target. I love it. So maybe I should have recorded, but it was so busy. But I'm definitely coming back out here. So I am. I had to buy me my allergy med because Lord have mercy. I'm looking for. Oh, I'm on my way home. So when I get home, I will show y'all literally some of the things I got in the kids. Okay. All right, guys. Um. Um. They didn't have too much of the Father's Day stuff I wanted to get. I'll work it out. I'll work it out. So, all right. I'm going to snack on these, and I'm heading home to Quavo. I miss my baby doggies. I miss my fur babies to Quavo. And, um, right you. Oh, my God. All right, guys. See y'all in a bit. Jump down. See ya. Why are you so No, you know what it is? He's tired. You're gone. You're going for the next two. I didn't have to cook because I came home and I was literally uh, tired. Allergies is kicking my butt. So, the kids um, ate chicken nuggets. Well, you ate the tuna, the tuna sandwich. I ate tuna. So, while he's watching the game, I'm going to be brainstorming. Hey, boy. Move right, you can't be in the camera like that. I'm gonna be working on my. Come on, close out, oh, man. Everybody knows my man knows this is the normal thing during game time. But I'm gonna be working on my content. Oh, nice. Come on, y'all showing too many threes, though. Let's go! Go, Francis! Come on, that's stupid. They gotta work like he is right now. He's working hard. Talking to the game. This is 
differently no not differently this is how he coaches all right so it's the next day and yesterday who won the phoenix suns <laughs> so they play again on monday because of the phoenix suns play monday against the denver nuggets phoenix suns will win that in seven so we're gonna that's your prediction seven phoenix and seven that's your prediction yeah phoenix and seven what's that mean it take seven games to beat him. See? I don't know that is. Papo, I see you! First one to win four, I see you! The first one to win four games. Alright, so then after that is what? After that, we wait. You see, we gotta oh, and then you have to wait. Not now. It's no after that. It's now. Alright. We're gonna think about later. Think about now. Oh, God. So, whoever is a sports Laker fan. Fans is hurting right now. The Lakers? They're hurting. Earth, in Denver. And All trouble. Right. So who do you think is gonna win Monday? Denver's in trouble. The Suns are gonna win. I say Suns. I say the Suns are gonna win a series you? of seven. Phoenix Basketball. Suns. Phoenix Suns are seven. So my I go by whatever my husband goes by, what team he likes is what I like. Same thing when I was younger, my dad's team was always my team. So the saga continues. Suns so our, seven. our bet is Phoenix Suns are seven. Huh? I, but I think the Suns are gonna win Monday. So Hubby thinks the Suns are gonna win the first two games. I think. I think the Suns are gonna win, of course. Mimi, it's the Denver Nuggets versus the Phoenix Suns, which is our team. There we go. See, join the bandwagon, baby. Hop on it. I know what you mean. I'm joking. But all right, all right. You so Mimi joined the bandwagon. Yeah, Mimi. She's at Phoenix Suns. Look at Mimi. Um, right here, bro. All right, so anyway, I got my nieces and nephew with me, and they're about to eat. Hubby is cooking the rice. All of his rice way much better than mine. We discussed this before. I don't know why. His rice, yeah, he is. Look at my boys, and they're sleeping. That's Quavo. He's my new puppy, nine months old. And Ryu, and um, Ryu is a year old. Quavo's birthday is July 1st, and I'll be doing a birthday party for him. So, um, I got my nieces, like I said, and my nephew, and we're gonna do a video of Jingo. So, we're not gonna keep it to ourselves. No, we're 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 gonna keep it to ourselves. All right, so we got another plan that me and Azai are gonna do. Azai and I are going to do along with Delilah if she wants to help and Mimi. I do. But Azai, come on. I don't wanna help. You do wanna help? Okay, come over here, Pa. Watch out my my lighting, babe. Hey, go ahead. You're a bad whisperer. You both are a bad whisperer. Oh no. Oh. Dude, are you deaf? Even I heard her. Hey. She's right in your ear, dude. I mean, do you think you hear me? I heard that. It's okay. Who we got another day, right? We'll do it next Monday. No, we're gonna do it together. Yeah, but we're gonna have Wow. It's a new day. Now we go back to school Tuesday. I said, we're horrible. We're gonna get caught if we ever try to rob somebody. <laughs> we're mad loud. <laughs> All right. So, as I will figure out the day that we're gonna do it, we might do it today. We might show it on Monday. We might show it Friday. We don't know, right? Talk more. You right. All right. Say bye. Bye, 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 bye. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Let's go, what? Sun. Say it. Let's go, what? Let's go. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me Let's say go. Hey. Have, Let's a, go. Have, have, have a happy day. Have a happy day. And a good afternoon. Afternoon. Stop. Afternoon. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh.